in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this kind of photo manipulation effect in ps touch so let's go ahead and import the model image so you click right here click on photo library so click on the model and click add okay so right now what you want to do is to click over to adjustment and pick black and white now let us create an empty layer click right here click on empty layer and click done so take this layer to the bottom and what you want to do is to click right here click on fill so pick the color black once done click ok so now we can go ahead and click right here click on the model layer click on this icon create an empty layer and click done so what we want to do is to select using this marquee selection tool just draw a line like this okay then come over here fill it you can fill it with any color so let's use white click on done so right now what you want to do is to click right here and deselect so let's reduce the opacity so we can see beneath it i would love to reposition this so you click right here and click on transform so let me take it a bit to the top like so and i think this could be fine click done so now let us warp it so you click right here click on warp so i think i'm going to take this part a bit to the bottom same as this part or let me undo that you can just take this take it to the bottom like so and right here can just try some stuff right here or you can just take this edge shift it a bit to the side maybe this one too just a bit you can take this one right here shift it a bit to the side and this one just a bit so I'm just going to take it a bit to the side and that is it so click on done so now what you want to do you can increase the opacity back up and create a new layer so you click right here create an empty layer so you click on done so now let us pick up a brush so click right here this is the paint tool click on the brush make sure the hardness is 100 percent the size is 200 so now just click once and click right here transform so let's just scale it up a bit okay i think this could be fine click on done click right here click on this icon merged and merge it down so as you can see we now have them as one layer so now what you want to do is to click right here, click on select pixels, turn this layer off, click on the bottom layer, click right here and click clear. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to add some depth and to do that, as you can see, the selection is still active. Click right here, click on the bottom layer, click on this add an empty layer above it click on done so now we'll click right here click on gradient sorry not gradient click right here click on fill and stroke so change the type to stroke and then you can increase the size a bit to your toast I think I'm good with this one click on done deselect it so you click right here 
and deselect so pick up a paint uh, eraser tool so click on toolbar scroll to the right you will see the eraser tool make sure the brush hardness is 100 percent and you can just erase from the top and maybe a bit from the right and also from the left okay so now we are almost done click right here click on select pixels click right here click on gradient okay so pick a linear gradient pick a linear gradient maybe this one so i guess i've lost that so i think okay so just do something like this some cold stuff like this to give it a bit of a depth click on done so we're going to do the same thing for the other edges so click right here let's deselect the selection so now let's click right here again click on this top layer which is this one turn it on or off whatever you want i think you can leave it off click right here click on select pixels okay come back again to the bottom layer click right here add an empty layer click on done click right here click on fill and stroke so this one we're going to make the width a bit less yeah maybe something like this done you can click right here and deselect so we're only going to erase it from just the top and we're going to leave it from the both edges okay all right so now what you want to do is to click right here click on select pixels come over here make sure this layer is still active then you can click right here and gradient so you can play with the gradient so you can have a bit of that depth okay so once you are done you can click ok so now click right here and deselect so we are done with the face now let's go import the other image so you click right here click on the bottom layer which is this one click right on this icon photo layer photo library so pick up this image and click add so come to extra make sure lock aspect ratio is active which means it's showing something like this and then you can scale it down a bit okay position it maybe right here think i'll make it bigger a bit all right so click on done so now if you want to add more to this you can click on this icon okay click on this layer pick up your brush make it smaller i think i'll make it a bit bigger just click once right here click once right here click once right here and same thing right here and here so now what we want to do is to click right on this icon copy merged and click on this icon click on the top layer then click right here again and paste so as you can see we have everything in one layer so once done click ok so now you can come over to adjustment click on curves so maybe you want to go to the red channels increase the reds at the highlight 
take it down at the shadows maybe you want to go to the green you want to take it down at the shadows or maybe to the blues you want to take it down at the highlight and bring it at the top of the shadows so you can click on done and you don't have to stop here you can move over to snapseed do some color changing to it but for me i think i'm going to stop here for the sake of the tutorial thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye